And now, this. That, it goes without saying, was the sound of a camel or two. Camels are prized possessions on the Arabian Peninsula, and camel racing is an ancient pastime there. New York Times reporter Sam Borden recently caught a few races while in the United Arab Emirates, and he saw firsthand a unique development in the evolution of camel racing. It's you know been a part of the Arabian culture for you know centuries, and in the last 30, 40 years, it became significantly more popular as sort of a formalized sport in the United Arab Emirates. They built you know race tracks with grandstands and a lot of the things you might see at a horse racing track in America. But in the beginning, they were using oftentimes children from other countries like Pakistan or Sudan, uh, as young as even two and three years old, to be the jockeys on the camels because they were so light and obviously. Obviously, from a human rights perspective, it was terrible. And about 10 years ago, the United Arab Emirates banned children from being used as jockeys, finally. And uh, they developed a robot. They're using these tiny robots that are fashioned from pretty much anything you could find in a hardware store. A 